everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am super excited because I have a new eyeshadow palette. So what is what is new? Helena has a new eyeshadow palette. Nothing is new here. Uh, yeah, I got this palette yesterday in my mail and I am so excited to be playing around with it, uh, shoving stuff on my eyeballs. Uh, it is the new Martin Cosmetics palette. Um, yeah, before we jump into this palette, let's address, I think this is my attempt. It is Saturday, cheers. And I am attempting to do this eye look and then sit down and edit it and post it because I don't have other plans. So I thought, you know what, let's let's be quick about it because this palette, I haven't seen much about it on YouTube. So I thought, can I be quick about it? Maybe, I don't know. Drink for encouragement. Um, yeah, so, but as I want to be quick about it, I need to address, I know I've done it in videos I filmed like two days ago, but this will probably be the first video that you see then with my my blondness. So yeah, I'm blonde. We went back to blonde for summer. I've been blonde many a times. And it is, I'm loving it. I had a, my bang looks weird today. So I just, it's not, you know, a, a hair cleaning day. If you know, you know. So it is tomorrow. I need to clean my, wash my hair. So I just, Thought, you know what, let's just pull it back. So, if it looks wonky, it's because I had it a different style and then I just put dry shampoo in it, pull it back and spray the shit out of it. So, but yeah, we are blonde. Back to the basics, so to speak. I am blonde originally. Um, uh, so now that is addressed, let's test out this makeup palette if you haven't been here before my name is helena and i love makeup i love to test new eyeshadow palettes especially but all kinds of makeup i have a shit ton of videos from before i got blonde that i haven't edited yet so if you're i will just you know see what is still you know what makes sense to edit and post it so there will be videos with me looking and brown purplish also coming up but yeah i love makeup beauty everything there is i love to use the makeup that i already own so i do a lot of product panning content and uh, yeah i think that is it you should definitely subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you should give it a thumbs up before you leave if you enjoy it helps me out you know we're growing slow and steady Slow and steady wins race or something. I don't know. I'm rambling. Let's get into this makeup. So, this is the Moula. I don't speak French, uh, <laughs> but this is the Moula palette. Uh, Martin Cosmetics is a indie makeup brand from Belgium, and you can now find them on Beauty Bay. So they are, uh, you know, getting bigger. But. I have some other palettes from them. I have their latest release. I have their Christmas release. I have, um, yeah, I think I have now one, two, three, four. This is the fourth palette. There is just one palette that I don't have of the big ones. They have smaller ones as well, but those are just very neutral and very not me. So I don't have those, but yeah. This is the Moolah and as you can see, this is just the cardboard, like the outer packaging, but it is very stunning and then you open it up so this is like a wallet i think it's supposed to be and you have some cards here and then the palette itself is it's a fucking credit card like or i mean come on how cool is that so Picking it up. It's definitely slimmer. The other Martin palettes are basically like this thick. Let me just show in comparison. Like this is their first palette I picked up from them. And you can see it's like almost the same thickness. Um, and yeah, this is what that palette looks like. 
So I am appreciating that they are slimming it down a bit because they are bulky, although very cool, but you mean bulky. So we have this palette. I have not swatched it yet. I like the card number. And then when we open it up, this is what the palette looks like. I hope it's not washed out too much. Don't think it is. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very cute color story. I must say that I think this is the best. Other Martine Cosmetics eye palettes or shadow palettes have been very gray and black heavy, uh, like the one you just saw. Uh, the, their, the release with the triple, Mission Triple X palette is also very, it's like green, gray, uh, heavy. So I do appreciate them not having as many gray shades because I think that if you own Martin Cosmetic palettes, you're kind of, you know, you have enough gray shades now. So that is nice. I do really like this color story. Yeah, I am gonna do two looks for you and we are um, I'm gonna do one on each eye because as I said I'm not going anywhere so I can just look crazy but we have some interesting colors this is like a duochrome like your normal green to brown duochrome and uh, yeah I'm excited I'm gonna bring you closer and we are going to play with this Martin Cosmetics Moolah palette. I hope this is close enough for you. Uh, yeah, I forgot to say, I also have on my lips, currently I have their Martin Cosmetics liquid lipsticks, li liquid lipstick. This is in the shade, what shade are you? I think it's like Francesca or something, Fernando. Uh, and I'm topping it with a lip gloss from September Rose, which I'm trying to pan. I am so excited. What are we going to do with this palette? We are... Hmm... Beach... It says here, beach. So, what, what, what do I do? I am very drawn to this one, so I think that we... Are going to play with that shade it's called Lillian. I will take a fluffy brush and we are going to to do, 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 dip into Lillian and shove that. So how is everything? Are you having good weather? We have spring, but then like from nowhere we've been we've been having so much sun and you know it's been snowing a lot this winter so the snow we have like a lot of snow but it's finally starting to melt everywhere and then suddenly it started snowing again today. Fun times, but anyways we had um I think it was like five degrees, so it didn't stick on the ground. It just melted right away, but you know, so fun to live in an Arctic climate. This shade is very pretty. We do love, it's like an orange brown shade. It's just so, so pretty. <sighs> yeah, and I... Took the time to, okay, let's not talk what I think. Maybe I'm gonna deepen up the crease a bit with this shade called Amanda. I'm gonna choose a bit of a smaller brush. Yeah, I uh, have been, this brush was not good. It's from Morphe, it was very, eh. Using a different brush. Uh, let's take this Sueva one. 
Yeah, I have um, bathed our dog today. He is... <laughs> he's coming now. Let's see if he will stay here with me. Uh, he's <laughs> if you don't know, I have a Basset Hound and uh, he was extremely dirty. Extremely dirty. Uh, I mean, he's he doesn't have long legs and so he gets a lot of dirt on his belly when he walks um, and living where we live you know we have a lot of snow I'm going back into Lillian just to blend and um, during spring it's just like a mud slush mess and everything gets on his belly and on his paws and on his long ears so he has been <laughs> spring cleaned do you want to play? Hey! What? Did you like He brought his favorite toy and he says, Mommy, play with me. <gasps> play with me. I'm just gonna go in with no additional product to just blend. What did in? Do you have your raccoon? Is it your raccoon? Is it your favorite toy? <laughs> yeah, and he, he got a good, good scrub and now he is exhausted because you get tired from being bathed, you know. It's not, not an easy life. What do we do then? I think I'm doing... I'm going to mix Adelaide, which is this black, and then the shade Miranda, which is this like olive green. We bought a bed for, for him so he can be in this room because this is the room where I have my makeup and where my boyfriend has his computer. So if he's gaming and they are alone, then he can come here and lay on it on the little extra bed here and he's been loving it yeah but he, he hates being showered or bathing it's like it's not his favorite thing so he's he was a bit upset uh, with me and had uh, like a tantrum trying to dry himself on our carpets for like one hour after he was finished. Poor thing. But yeah, he's been shedding so fucking much. So it was, you know, we have a, like a, a shampoo that will quicken the shedding process. And uh, as I said, he was very dirty. So it was, it was a good need and maybe we will have to bathe him again this spring or early summer because I mean it's still just slush hell and now I'm just blending that Lillian shade around my eye okay we like 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 it <sighs> then, of course, I need to put down a shimmer. So what shimmer do we do? Hmm. I think this one. And maybe... Yeah, I think we'll use these two. That is... I'm gonna tell you what it is. Okay. Uh, so first we're picking up Augustine, which is this down here. Use a flat brush and pick it up. A good thing, they have a really great eyeshadow quality. I'm just gonna spray it with some Fix Plus. And they have basically no kick up. But they are not difficult to pick up on brushes either, so it's a really nice formula to work with. Okay, I'm going about that much and then I'm picking up that brown and green duochrome called Michelle. 
just this one. I'm so confused looking at my monitor because I need to think the other way around, but I always... Ooh. I didn't spray it and it had a very nice punch. Some fallout from that one. I'm just gonna boop, 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 boop. And then, finally, I'm using, I use Constance, which is this very bright, like, white green shade. I'm just gonna use what I just picked up. So, have you tried anything from Martin Cosmetics? I... Now I'm picking up it up on the brush and just... I have, as I said, been enjoying everything very, very much. They are so... They feel very luxe and like, I don't know. It's just the quality is really there. And I think that is a good... Good, goody, goody. Now, I'm gonna use my uh, LH Cosmetics uh, eyeliner and just do something like that. I'm smoking, just like trying to blur it out. And then we are. I will pick up the shade called uh, I'm taking the Miranda first and I am just gonna run that like closest and then I think I'm gonna just frame it with that orange I think that is what is making most sense or it feels like. So I pull it down a lot. I'm gonna clean up soon. Something like so. Now let's put some shimmer. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Let's take this brush. And we are picking up. I think we're gonna use the gold one there called Celeste and picking that up picks up nicely spray and we Finally, let me take the shade called Antoinette, which is this gold in the middle, and put that in the inner corner. This one felt when I put it, when I rubbed my or put my finger in it, it felt a bit drier than the other ones. But it looks nice. And then I'm going back into Constance, that like very bright one, to just tie those together. We. Oui. What do you think? Okay. I'm gonna do the finishing touches on this eye and I will be right uh, back. Okay. So this is the finished look number one. Um, I just put on mascara. The mascara I'm using is the MAC Stack. Don't really love this one uh, because I like for work I usually wake up and put on my makeup around 6 in the morning and then I wear my makeup for a good like 13 hours. I take it off in the evening and this one smears. Uh, I can see like uh, around 
nine hours I see like black dots here which drives me crazy but I mean it does give great length um, I hope you can see that but yeah it's just not it doesn't it doesn't last for me which is a shame so I really enjoy this look I love love that orange shade I think it's so pretty kind of matching everything that I am wearing <laughs> today on my nails and on my body so let's do look number two and I must do something green of course because we have a lot of greens and I what I've been feeling a halo eye so Annelika Nyqvist, Angie, doing a halo eye recently and she said that this is the this is your cue for making a halo eye because it's actually very salt I, I, I agree with her, it's sultry sexy so I am also going to do a halo eye so I'm gonna start with the green down here called, what are you called? Marie Louise Marie Louise, as we say and I'm just gonna pack that one. I will deepen this up, but this is the, apart from that olive shade that I used here, this is the darkest green, so I'm gonna use a black. And I, I appreciate them having a black in this palette. I actually think that this palette has a very good range because you have a very bright shade if you want to make something more pastel or and you have a black shade if you want to deepen it up and then you have like a good range from mid-tones to lighter and yeah i think it's a very clever clever choice from them um having these colors so let's not forget that i'm doing a halo eye because sometimes i forget and i put so i just have like a very very thin space to do the actual halo 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 this is a nice green shade uh, very nice um, so i'm gonna take a fluffy brush and fluff that bright green called agnes marie agnes mary in Swedish we have good Agnes Marie. Uh, I'm gonna blend that on the edge here. So when I do halo eyes I, I like to start with the darkest shades and yeah. Let me know how do you do halo eyes? Do you start with like the blending out shade and then go deeper or do you go deep and then light? Do you even do halo eyes anymore? Do you even... Do you even? Do you even know what you're doing? Okay. Like that. Uh, let me swipe that as I always do because I cannot help myself. I just tie that together and now and now I'm gonna deepen it up with the black try and not go overboard but you never know what's gonna happen with the black and Take Marie Louise, blend, blend, blend. It's a, got a bit patchy. That might be the brush's fault and not the eyeshadows. The brush was a bit stiff and I just wanted, I should have, I should have been smarter, making better decisions, so to speak. Good. Or maybe not, not out here. I'm just gonna go in with no product. This is a super good brush for just blending without any extra pro product. product. Uh, this is from Aveda. 
So, what do we do for my halo? I have used quite many shades. I haven't touched this shade called Daphne, which is like this copper shade. I haven't touched uh, Nadine, which is a silver. And uh, I haven't touched Regina, which is... <gasps> Look, do you see? It has a very clear green flip to it. But for some reason, or at least in my monitor, it just looks like a bright metallic. But it has a clear green, blue flip. Such a shame. Can't see that that well. So we have to use that one. I think I'm just gonna start with that Daphne shade. I'm gonna put it on my finger and stamp it. Daphne was that, as you can see, that copper shade. Like so, and then we need to take that. That sparkle. Okay, I'm going to take Regina. Make it. That is such a beautiful, beautiful shade, I think. And I'm just gonna blend the edges, yeah. Kind of almost overlooked it because it was down in the corner and I didn't... I didn't look there. I hope that you can see that intensity. Okay, for the lower lashes, let me pick up the shade called Françoise or whatever and put that. Hello. Hmm. Maybe it's the brush, I don't know. No, oh, it's quite interesting. It's a bit sheer in like the base. Hmm. Not the punchiest of greens, but then let me go into. I just want to use that shade, but I think I'm going to take Catherine, the bitch, and put that in the inner corner so that I can use some more. Do you hear my dog sleeping very heavily, sighing in his sleep because life isn't easy for a little doggo who pay no rent, who goes to no job, who gets to eat and sleep in the bed. It's not, not an easy life to live. Alright, now let's just swipe some green like that. I'm going to do the finishing touches and uh, I will be right back. Okay, this is the... where are we even? This is the finished look. I love a green eye, uh, eyeshadow to brown eyes. So my memory card got full. Of course I was expecting it. Yeah. Um, I don't even know where I was. I added the Barry M uh, eyeliner to the waterline and I draped my face a bit more using my Maybelline Mitchell Love This blush color and I think 
I love, love a draped look. I think it looks so stinking beautiful. But what are my thoughts about the new Martin Cosmetics Moola palette? No surprise, I love it. I think everything, like they always bring it with their packaging, their kind of theming and so on, and the shadows are just the same excellent quality. I have no issue. The only problem was that black shade but on this side, but I think it was my choice of brush and not the actual shade. Uh, Martine has intense black eyeshadows. Um, I've been panning one for my uh, whole collection project pan, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a really good palette, and as I said, I like that it goes from light to dark. You have two a, a bright. It's not entirely white. It's like more of a bone white beige shade uh, up here with like a toilet paper on, suit fittingly enough, and then you have that dark black down here. So you can brighten up shades or you can deepen them up. So I, I think it's a very smart move from them. And yeah, it's just it's just a gorgeous palette. I'm really liking it. Let me know if you picked this up. And as I said when I started, if you enjoyed, if you're still watching, say hi in the comments, you know, let me know what you think about this look or if you, you know, if you picked it up yourself. And please, please give it a thumbs up because yeah, it helps me out. And uh, other than that, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!